Hi, and welcome to the digital job site, where this section I'll actually be giving fencing lessons. Uh, maybe I should rephrase that. I'll be showing some techniques and methods uh, that I use to create this rendering of Bryce inspecting a picket fence. So, uh, getting started with this, um, I'll just return this to the design style that I usually draw in and turn off the shadows that slow things down. Use the zoom extents. I'm just going to select everything here, make it a group, and then hide that group so that we can draw. Um, I'll show you the methods I use to create that model or something very close to it. I'm just going to start off drawing a rectangle that's three and a half inches square. I get that by typing in 3.5 comma 3.5 on the keyboard and uh, that gives us a rectangle that's three and a half inches square which would represent a 4 by 4 post should you choose that uh, uh, to build your fence with. And I'm going to use the follow me tool to create that post you saw with the little Roman Gothic looking point on it. I want that post to be, uh, let's make it 48 inches tall. And then um, to use the follow me tool, I'm just going to create a drawing plane here. So I, I got my line going in the red direction, typed in 1.75. That'll get me to the center of that 3.5 inch post. And to get this line to show up, down in the center of that square. I just get it going in a blue direction. Hold down the shift key. I could be anywhere off in space as long as I click that little selected plane it will um, it'll end the line right on that plane in the center of it which is directly below the point above. So that gives me a, a surface reference to draw on. Um, if you've ever tried to draw a curve out in space with SketchUp. It does all kinds of wacky things. So I'm just going to uh, throw a little arc on here. And as you'll see, the exact shape and size of the arch isn't really all that critical at this point. I'm just going for proportions. I'm just going to draw a profile that we'll use to create that point. Quarter inch vertical line there, grab the protact director. Oops, grab the protractor. Give us a little 45 degree shoulder on here. The guideline gives me something that I can quickly draw to. Getting rid of a little extra geometry. Okay, and there's a, a post profile that we can use to start off with. And so to use the follow me tool, I need to give SketchUp a path, which I'll do by double clicking this, holding shift and deselecting the middle. Um, you can see the highlighted blue edge will tell SketchUp where the follow me is supposed to go. Grab the follow me tool and then click the profile that we want to follow that edge. And while I'm here, I'm just going to draw a bottom to our post. Go zoom extents and there you have the corner post uh, shown in the drawing ahead of time. And uh, something I um, did in the other drawing and I thought it was pretty handy, it might be a interesting uh, technique for you to have. Um, I think this point is just a little stubby. That's just me, but um, I want to change it. So rather than going back and redrawing everything on that uh, little drawing plane, just going to select the top of this post, the geometry for it. You can see I've picked up a couple little extra little pieces here, so I'm just going to hold Shift and deselect these little bits of curves. So that we're um, addressing just the top of this little post. And I got a little bit sloppy with my selection, so I've got a lot of things to deselect here. But you'll see that in the end, this is all worth it. Oops, I lost myself there. Just going around deselecting things here. 
I could have gone back and reselected it a little more carefully and ended up with this as top. But the handy thing here is to use the scale tool. I think that should be a little more pointy so I can just grab the point of this and it's going to stretch it up a little bit for us. And uh, there, I like that proportion a little bit better. I'm just going to select this whole thing and make a component and just call this point and post and create that as our post component. I'll stop this video clip here and then um, work through the picket process. Make sure you see the other two parts of this short video series on drawing a fence.